Hello, I'm Darren the Magic Ghostbuster, and in this video I'm talking about the quarter scale statues made by Hollywood Collectibles. So the first of these statues was Peter Venkman, and I believe he came out around 2016. Um, they retailed at £400 each, and I must be honest, I like it, but I didn't think it was worth £400, so I passed on it. Uh, it wasn't until a couple of years later one came up on eBay quite cheap. Um, it had a small... Uh, part like a small chip in it um where his hands connect on uh, and i got it for about 100 pounds um which, you know was happy with that and to be honest once his hand connects the way i had it displayed you didn't notice that chip i always intended to fix it and then completely forgot about it until filming this video so that's something i've got to do it was a couple of years later i got a ray um and again i got him for about 150 pounds no issues with ray at all so uh, so these things just don't really hold their value sadly now Egon and Winston seemed a lot harder to get in this country. Um, a couple of shops got them. Again, didn't jump on at £400. I was thought, I'll wait until I get them cheaper on eBay. Um, they seem to be a lot harder to get come by on eBay. You know, Ray and Peter come up a lot. Egan and Winston, not very often, especially in the UK. Um, until recently, when they come up 250 each. Or, sorry, Winston was 250 Egon was 280 uh, That was a little much, I was thinking, but I really wanted to complete the set, so I thought, why not? Um, the reason Winston was slightly cheaper than Egon, because they were from the same seller, was he had his um, the hose missing from the uh, Proton pack to the Neutrona wand. I thought, that's an easy fix with a bit of wire, I can do that. Um, unfortunately, when they arrived, <laughs> that wasn't the only problem with them. They had several issues, um, lots, well, lots of problems really, lots of wires broken, um, breakages in different places, and, you know, I was really disappointed. And I did contact the eBay seller, it was a cash converter's eBay store, and I basically had two choices, it was either return them, you know, they sent me the postage labels, or keep them. I did try for a partial refund, but they weren't having it, apparently it was against company policy. Um, now, some of the little... Um, mistakes i can forgive them not noticing like the cable uh, on the belt gizmo maybe that's something that you know personally took them in and paid for them in cash converters probably isn't a super geek like me might not notice things like that but there were other things that definitely should have been noticed but anyway i spoke to a good friend of mine who's like an expert model maker paul who um owns this thing called studio camicon and he said he can fix them so i thought i'll keep them I'll keep them because I don't know if I'm going to get them for that price again. So he done an amazing job of fixing a lot of this stuff. Well, um, I did a couple of things myself, but he gets 99% of the credit. Um, one of the harder bits to do was a couple of bits on the back of the proton pack. And annoyingly, both proton packs had bits missing. So it wasn't like I had one perfect one and one bad one. One had the, the black pipe that sort of curls around missing. I managed to fix that with buying just some pipe. And sticking it on managed to find it in a similar size the ribbon cable half had snapped off which was really annoying so what i did was i glued sort of cables over and then sort of tucked them into where they go and then paul made a little thing for the clip so um again paul gets you know 99% of the credit for that but um anyway that's my little journey with getting these statues let's take a proper look at them now so first up we're looking at peter venkman and as you can see it's such a great likeness of him um I, I think this is the weakest one personally but still a great likeness um now with all these statues hollywood collectibles done exclusive versions uh which were exclusive to their website i don't have any of those these are all the standard versions um and the difference with the peter one is he came with a trap basically that you could display on the base now the base is a very cool it is the uh logo design and you turn them over and it tells you what the limited edition number is on the bottom and as you can see detail on the proton pack you throw a wand all his equipment is really good next up is ray and i think that this is one of the better likenesses of dan Aykroyd, certainly um he does seem like a hard person to get a good likeness of when you look at a lot of other uh, Ghostbusters figures that have come out. Um, but again, really nice figure. And what I really like about these statues is that, you know, they could have been lazy and just used very similar body sculpts for uh, the four of them. But as you can see, even though they're all holding their wands, they are all different poses. Um, and one other really cool detail about this is that... Um, They've actually got Dan Aykroyd's two different coloured eyes on this statue, which is a thing that could easily have been overlooked. And I 
Williams about a lot of people didn't even know he had two different coloured eyes. So that was a very core cool little thing there. Um, the exclusive version is came with an alternate head. Again, I only have the standard one and has really nice trap that hangs on his belt. And um, again, really nice statue. Next up we have Egon Spengler and as you can see this is an amazing likeness of Harold Ramis. They've done such a good job with this statue as well. Um, as the others he's holding the Neutrona wand out ready to bust ghosts and really cool details. It's a different pose again to the other statues. Like I said they haven't reused the same body over and over. Um, and cool detail all the way down you know on his belt, his belt gizmo, the proton pack. Um, one thing um, I haven't mentioned yet is that with the uh, Neutrona ones, um, they've used different thicknesses on the wires on some like, between statues, and I guess that's because they all come out at different times. Um, there is an inaccuracy as well. Is um, there's this blue wire on the back of the Neutrona one that should be green. Last but certainly not least is Winston Zedmore, and again they've captured Ernie Hudson perfectly. This is such an amazing statue, and uh, definitely completes the set. Um, same sort of pose again, holding a Neutrona wand, but again, different, not the same body. Um, great detail all the way down. Uh, one thing you will notice with this one is they seem to have skimped a little bit with Winston. No key fobs on his belt, no walkie-talkie, so if Winston gets stuck and needs to call for backup, he is pretty much screwed, unfortunately. Um, but overall, again, such an amazing statue and definitely completes the set. So that's a look at the Hollywood collectible statues. Um, I need to finish this video by thanking Paul again, who you know did such a brilliant job of the repairs. You know, sticking wires in certain places, and you know some of those bits that hold the wires in needed re-sculpting with milli putt and stuff. Stuff that I could have done, but it would have looked a mess. So you know, I'm glad he did it, um, and he did such a brilliant job. And I do need to bring Peter to him to fix that little bit, which I completely forgot about. But thank you, Paul, if you're watching this, and um, let me know what you think of these statues. Do you agree with me? Do you think they were not worth £400? Like, I love these statues. I think they're great. I think what I paid for them is about right. Um, definitely don't think I would have paid £400. But you know. That's just me. Let me know what you think in the comments and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep on busting.